Welcome back. I am Collins Trot, Child Development Faculty on the Wallace Community College Dothan campus. In this episode, we are going to be learning about theoretical foundations in literacy, psychology, and the arts. From birth to age nine, emotions, social interaction, and creativity play key roles in children's literacy development. The integration of literacy, psychology, and the arts enhances children's learning processes, which involve active engagement of children with their environment. Understanding the language acquisition process for young children includes understanding how literacy theory relates to the lives of children, parents, teachers, and others in the community. By connecting literacy with educational psychology and the arts, our approach to literacy is influenced by language, culture, and real-world experiences. We are looking at literacy from a broad perspective, acknowledging that community, parents, teachers, and children communicate and collaborate to help children achieve their literacy goals. Creative thinking, higher order thinking, and problem solving skills are emphasized from a global perspective of literacy. Our primary goal is to help children become more effective readers and writers. This goal involves teaching parents and educators how to become active participants and the collaborative learning process. Young children need connection, love, respect, and understanding to be open to learning. Literacy activities are integrated with creative learning experiences to promote the holistic model of literacy. So join me, Ms. Trot, as we learn all about theoretical foundations in literacy, psychology, and the arts. <laughs> with young children, it is important to understand a variety of foundational theories that connect to language development. As children grow in the early years, their brains adjust quickly to their surroundings, picking up language as it is spoken. Children build vocabulary continually through play and exploration. Learning to read includes the cognitive, social, emotional, and physical aspects of the child. Literacy is about connecting and communicating thoughts and feelings and expressing creatively. Connecting literacy, psychology, and the arts provides a unique view of child development. Literacy development occurs through active engagement. We will be looking at the holistic model of literacy, which utilizes concepts from various theorists. Literacy for young children involves developing a balanced self. The three parts of self are the cognitive self, the social-emotional self, and the physical self. Cognition assists children in focusing and concentrating on learning tasks. The social-emotional self allows children to positively interact and encourage others. Children use all five senses to enhance understanding and comprehension through the physical self. A child's whole self interacts with their environment along the path to literacy. The holistic model of literacy supports the concept of executive function a critical cognitive skill that includes independence and self-regulation in the early literacy classroom. Children learn how to control social emotional behaviors while engaged in creative play. A variety of theorists inspired the development of the holistic model of literacy, including Maria Montessori and Jean Piaget. Montessori emphasized independence, play, and respect for a child's natural, psychological, physical, and social development. Jean Piaget is the founder of constructivism, focusing on children's learning through discovery. Piaget believed that children learn best from individuals and social activities, such as playing games. The holistic model of literacy theory of integrating literacy, psychology, and the arts is relevant for children in diverse classrooms because different learning styles require multiple ways of knowing. In a holistic literacy model, the needs of the whole child are important addressing their cognitive, social, emotional, and physical development. It is imperative in today's classrooms for children to interact and creatively engage in the language and learning process. Two important theorists in the field of literacy whose approaches to teaching literacy are foundational to all active learning approaches are Marie Clay and Elizabeth Soulsby. Clay changed what we know and believe about emergent literacy and the reading process. Soulsby taught us how children develop in their literacy skills in sequential stages as they learn to read and write. The work of Clay and Soulsby provide a solid foundation for early literacy instruction. 
Engaged learning focuses on developing the creative problem-solving abilities of young children in order to be independent and self-sufficient. Two important theorists in the field of psychology are Albert Bandura and Abraham Maslow. Bandura guided educators to understand the critical role of observation, self-motivation, and self-regulation in education. Maslow created a hierarchy of needs leading to self-actualization. These psychological theories provide a foundation to support literacy development. Two key theorist approaches in the field of the arts are Victor Lowenfield and Howard Gardner. Lowenfield delineated the stages of artistic development and theories about creativity. Gardner corrects multiple ways of learning and demonstrating knowledge. Visually representing thoughts and ideas assists children in comprehension of texts. The arts are a form of communication that young children often use to demonstrate their understandings. Two interrelated theorists who represent a combined view of literacy development are John Dewey and Lev Vygotsky. Dewey and Vygotsky paved the way for an integrated approach that supports the holistic model of literacy, that children's literacy development depends on the interconnection of the cognitive, social, emotional, and physical selves. Dewey's theory supports active engagement, which involves the physical self. Vygotsky encourages social interaction to support the emotional self. The theories of literacy, psychology, the arts, and integrated theories are important to guide teaching and learning. Teachers, parents, siblings, relatives, friends, and the community must work together to provide a successful learning environment. As teachers of early literacy, our goal is to ignite a passion for reading in each and every child. We must teach our children how to read and write, but we also must teach them to love reading and writing. Children begin their literacy development the day they are born. There are sequential steps of development in a child's journey to literacy. From birth to three, children love listening to stories, are attracted to colorful illustrations, and are in the scribbling stage of spelling development. From three to six years, children tend to be learning sight words and story grammar, and they enjoy predictable patterned books. From six to nine years, children tend to be learning inferential and critical comprehension skills, as well as decoding and phonics skills, and they enjoy choosing the books to read. The integration of the cognitive, emotional, and physical parts of self are integral in literacy development. Although we separately discuss the cognitive, social, emotional, and physical concepts, in reality, these aspects of self are intertwined. Now let's review what we've learned. As you learn more through the semester, you will discover ways to integrate literacy, psychology, and the arts in early childhood classrooms. Each of the three disciplines has primary theorists that were selected because of their individual contributions to the field of education. Integration of literacy, psychology, and the arts form a foundation for innovative early childhood education. Ultimately, however, teachers are the key to success rather than the literacy program. Teachers must have high expectations for their students, encouraging them to take risks, learn from their mistakes, explore their passions, and follow their dreams. They must believe in their students and the children must believe in themselves. Teachers can truly make a difference one child at a time. That wraps us up for this episode. You can learn more about this topic by reviewing the resources posted in your course. And as always, if you have any questions, please contact me or your instructor. Thanks for joining me, Ms. Trot, as we learn all about theoretical foundations in literacy, psychology, and the arts. See you next time. Thank you.